Then I quickly want to mention this regarding Instagram considering looking at a paid verification thing. The same thing that Twitter is doing, right? That Elon Musk obviously introduced has been somewhat successful. If you believe some of the figures coming out from places like Twitter Takeover News, which are saying that Twitter has over 290K paying subscribers of Twitter Blue, which obviously is the thing that you do to get your blue verification mark. And it obviously gives some other bonuses as well in terms of you, you know, your, your quote, your I think your replies come up higher when you kind of are verified and big tweets and whatnot and some other bonuses here and there but i always was under the impression this would work really well for instagram because instagram by nature you know the clout machine that it is the reason why people want to be on there and be seen and you know try and present an image that there's somebody worthwhile or notable it would make a lot more sense to put it on there and to make some easy bucks and easy money because i think i might have calculated it before like imagine you know i think the cost of a twitter blue check mark the cost of a twitter blue in the uk is about 11 pounds let's say apple takes six pounds of that and you only get flipping five left five times two hundred and ninety thousand, or two hundred and ninety thousand is still still 1.45 million per month that you're making you know extra on top of anything else that you're doing so clearly that's an easy avenue to kind of generate money and the subscription models you know you're getting money month in month in so it's always going to be helpful that way and for someone like myself who uses instagram as a way to kind of share some of the work that i do creative work whatnot content bits i put out whatnot i do like the idea of paying for the twitter or sorry the instagram verification especially if they have services linked to it like for instance one of the big things i've always wanted was the ability to link on my instagram stories because i don't really use my instagram feed for the most part i think most people don't either you know the whole idea of our instagram about sharing pictures has completely gone it's disappeared it's essentially now become a platform to share you know screenshots of tiktok things that you see videos screenshots of twitter memes and that's it no one's really sharing beautiful pictures that are taken on holiday um, beautiful pictures of a wedding scenery hiking food it doesn't exist anymore even food think about it like uh, apart from you know accounts i follow that specifically go out and review restaurants or review food there's not a lot of people that i know from my friends list that are uploading or sharing oh i ate this here and there on their feed they may upload uh, what they ate on their instagram story but not on their main feed so clearly that's a big kind of push and for me having the ability to link and then link it to your instagram so it would be a big deal and obviously that's a feature that they kind of lock and kind of have it only available for people that have a certain amount of followers but if you can have that if you have a brief verification mark that'd be absolutely awesome and of course if you want to stop some bits of abuse or spamming or whatnot on Instagram, you could obviously kind of implement that in the long term going forward. Because I do remember seeing something about Elon Musk say, like, oh, in the long term, he wants to rid all legacy Twitter blue verification marks anyway. So anybody that has a verification on Twitter will be have to be someone paying for it. There will be no legacy kind of accounts anymore because it feels like it's been abused and people are taking the piss and whatnot and kind of, you know, doing some nefarious things in the background or using it as a way to kind of legitimize really dumb or harmful opinions. But overall, as a thing for Instagram, I think that'll definitely work. But anyway, let's go to the article. The article says as follows. News, um, re sorry, new references in Instagram's code suggest a company could be developing a paid verification feature for in the rollout of a cinema system at twitter under elon musk recently discovered code snippets reference explicitly so explicitly refer to a paid blue badge and a new subscription product a developer discovered the same references also appear in the latest build of the facebook app including paid verification could be offered across meta platforms if the product continued to be developed i'm not really sure how it would work on facebook i don't know why anybody would care about having a verification on twitter on facebook I don't even use it like that, to be fair. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe if you've got an artist page or business page, I'm not really sure. Maybe there is something, some validity to it, but I'm eager to see how that works out. It continues. The discovery was made by developer and reverse engineer um, Alessandra Paluzzi, who was previously spotted a number of new Instagram features before they launched, including the in-app scheduling tool that launched in November and the newer QR code sharing features. He also regularly spotted other internal prototypes like Instagram's candid challenges and features in development with Twitter. Typically, Instagram confirms its smaller tests or prototypes when it's discovered, but in the case of the paid verification option, the company chose not to comment, which is a big deal. 
that means they're definitely looking into it. Again, if you're looking at the figures, if I'm if those figures I said was right, and if Twitter are getting five pounds out of the eleven pounds that it takes to Twitter Blue, they're still making one point you know one point four million of the two hundred and ninety subscribers, and it'll only go up over time as they start to add more features and whatnot to it. You would imagine, given Pelosi's track record, however, um, it's worth at least speculating why Instagram could be weighing up decision around pay for verification. Specifically, Pelosi shared the TechCrunch's screenshot in the app code that included lines that says IG name paid blue underscore badge IDV, blah, blah, blah. And another one that says FB name paid blue badge IDV. He suggested that given the context, IDV could mean identity verification, as was known as also meaning for his acronym. Um, in addition, the developer also f told us he found other references to a new type of subscription product that hadn't been previously that hadn't been there previously. The same references were also in the one, the latest build of the Facebook app he noted. Still, Pelosi cautioned that there's nothing yet visible in the app itself beyond free for these small code references, sorry, so they can only speculate on these findings for the time being. Still, it's fun to speculate to be had and especially considering the mystery of this Instagram verifications process. So, yeah, let's see what happens, what goes forward. I think it's a really great idea. It would work really well for them. I think there's a lot of people on Instagram who want to look like they're way more famous than what they are so they'll definitely purchase it just for that sake alone it might muddy the waters in terms of an influencer thing in terms of influencer marketing with your brand and whatnot but i think at this point if you're a brand and you're getting hoodwinked by people with fake followers and whatnot you probably have your own yourself to blame there's too much information out there and resources to use to see what actually what somebody's real reach and engagement is actually like so you don't need to kind of fake the funk in that way going forward so um i don't think that was harm anything in terms of um, influencer marketing i'd imagine just my opinion anyway but yeah let's see how that kind of rolls out we shall see how that rolls